beautifully on stage. Rock. The energy hasn't gone, uh, Shreya. It's still rocking. So what is the last move you're going to show us now? Oh my god, I think given a chance and Shreya will start performing because she's completely joshed up and very very happy about the way Chandra Rano is performing. Um, I think everyone's playing really well, but yeah, it's, it's a great, uh, very, it's a fun game. Um, and I'm oh my god, thank you, thank you so much Shreya, enjoy, sorry to disturb you from the performance. I think lots of fun happening, over to the commentary. Well that could be another nail in the coffin of uh, Karnataka bulldozers. A close, close call. Looks out from here. We'll have to see what the slow mo reveals. It's gone for all money. I wonder how the third umpire is going to take that decision because he cannot see when the bales are removed because Pascal is in the way. How is the third umpire going to take that decision? Sudeep, distraught, dejected, disappointed. What else can you offer? Defeated? Defeated, not yet. Oh, single, single, single but defeat like definitely on the cards for the bulldozers. Well, Sanjay, they say they know what the fat lady sings. But she is clearing her throat right now. 118 for 8. It's going to be an uphill task for the Karnataka bulldozers. And... Would you say it's a travesty because they were by far the most consistent team in the round robin stage, winning 3 zip in all the three games that they played. What do you think went wrong today? You could say that uh, probably they peaked too early and uh, somebody like Chennai Rhinos have peaked at the right time, picking up their games. This was a very good throw, very good return, good take by the keeper and made no mistake in dislodging the bales. The fielding has been of a very good standard, Sanjay. You'd be surprised, wouldn't you, with the kind of fielding performances that have been that we've seen in the last four days of cricket? Yes, Rohan. I think uh, really surprise not only us but uh, a whole lot of people. I think uh, people were a bit skeptical about this format. They weren't really sure whether the film stars would be able to deliver on a cricket field, but they have and they have done it thumpingly. Boni Kapoor probably is wanting a, a few more participants from Bollywood to play in the next season because uh, if he if he is supporting the Bollywood cause, if he is supporting the Mumbai heroes, he needs to get together with Sunil Shetty and the people who matter and get a stronger team, get the right people to play for them. That's got to be a wide. And yes, Nanda Kishore. Rightly a judge, a judge is that a wide. And probably deciding on the man of the match, man of the series is the director of the CCL. Well, the game getting away. But uh, we must appreciate Rohan, uh, the fight that has been put up by Bhaskar. He's batting on 40 yard. He's battled the injuries that he has suffered. And till the time he is there, uh, bulldozers can't really rejoice. Well, Sanjay, I would like to think so, but I think this game is now well and truly done. I know they say nothing's over till the last ball's bowled, but uh, just look at the body language of the Chennai Rhinos. They know that they won the game too. They know that another couple of overs of good fielding, good bowling and soon the target is going to be beyond the Karnataka bulldozers. And they will also be richer by 25 lakhs. Uh, 
Swing and a miss. Had a slim hope, uh, but they kept losing too many wickets. But then, Bhaskar hasn't disappointed yet. He's still there, he's hit a six. It brings a bit of cheer. But I think uh, they need a few more like these. Well, they need a flurry of such shots. That's uh, well timed actually. It hit the bottom half of the, of the bat, but it seems to have got it straight over the bowler's head. Another full toss. Another six. Uh, uh, is there a twist in the tail? I asked. Uh, a couple of balls, a couple of sixes. Uh, they still have a couple of wickets in hand. And more importantly, Haskell is still not out. I think Haskell is the key really. I mean, everybody knows that. He's, he's the main batsman. He's batted quite superbly. He's got a bit of a handicap in the sense that his knee and his ankle are both bad. But he's been there long enough. He must be sighting the ball like a football. Play in a mess. Ambitious appeal. Is he going upstairs? Yes, he is. Now, this is interesting. Bhaskar thinks he's asking. Oh, it, it could be that the runner was outside the crease. He may have taken a start. It would be most unfortunate if that's the case. Let's see what's happened here. The runner is. Is his bat above? The ground. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think uh, it's all right. Yes, it added a bit of the a bit to the drama. Uh, but I think uh, both batsmen are well inside the crease. Yes, smart work by the keeper. You have to give it to give it to him there. But I think uh, he'll survive to live another day. I think it should rule in favor of the batsman. Let's see what the third umpire says. And that's not out. That's big reprieve for the Karnataka bulldozers. If Pascal was dismissed here, it would have spelled finish to the match. I, I find it really nice, pleasantly surprised to see actually, even though they've lost the plot, that's Karnataka bulldozers, they still haven't lost hope. And uh, every six has been cheered, every reprieve has been uh, applauded. So in that sense, uh, they still believe that they have a chance, even if it's an outside chance. Jahan hai to Jahan hai. Baskar still there. He can hit some lusty blows. There he is. He's striking it through to the offside. Just a single. Which is good enough. He's got two sixes in this over. So he needs to be there. I, I think it's obviously it's down to Baskar. Uh, the way he rotates the strike. I think that is going to be the key. Because uh, he cannot allow the other batsmen to face too many deliveries. Yes, he has hit a couple of sixes. Uh, he must ensure that he farms the strike nicely and uh, stays on the striker's end for as much as, as much as possible and for as long as possible. Captain Sudeep looking very pensive and tense in turn. That's a single? Yes, it is. Yes, that's a good run. I think he's done well to get this, the strike back to Baskar. Every delivery is precious from here because the target is pretty stiff. It's still 51 runs to go. A little over 3 overs remaining. More than 16 runs and over. Obviously it's not going to be easy. And Chennai Rhinos, uh, I'm pretty impressed with their body language. The way they've been uh, throwing themselves around. They have not left a stone unturned. Yes, they came with a strategy. They had a proper planning in place. Uh, I was... I was Pleasantly again surprised to see the field placements, they had the right fielders in the right areas, they knew Vishnu is, uh, or uh, in fact Groove is someone who likes to play through the offside. They had a fielder uh, straight away back at the covers and uh, for someone like Bhaskar they've got the mid wicket back so I think uh, they've done their homework pretty much right. Uh, he's hit it up again, is he going to be caught? No, he's dropped on the fence just inside, deep cover. It was struck powerfully. It's 143 for required, 18 deliveries. It's a little under, what, 16 per over. Not easy. It means that they need to get at least a couple of sixes each over or three boundaries, at least. Well, who said that winning the finals would be easy? Uh, yes, uh, they, they seem to have they dig a big hole for themselves. Uh, but then, uh, that's where you get to know the character. Do they have it in them to pull themselves out? Or uh, they just uh, 
just hope uh, to come back next year and have another go at the trophy. Well, you know, whatever the result of this match, I think it, uh, due credit is due to both teams. The Nataka have fought back extremely well after losing four wickets very early. It, at one stage, it seemed that it would be a one-sided game, but that has not been the case. <coughs> well, that's true. And that's why these guys have actually dominated uh, so far in the tournament. Uh, it, it's not a surprise, it's not a flash in the pan. They actually went ahead and won every single game uh, in the league phase. Yes, uh, things did not go all that well uh, in the finals, but that can happen. Look at that. Uh, keeping Karnataka bulldozers alive. That could be a very, very expensive miss. Not an easy catch running in from the fence, but it, it did get into his hands and then popped out. Oh, that's that's Harakiri. That's Harakiri for you, and that's a nice jig from the bowler. And I think that's the final nail in Karnataka Bulldozer's coffin. Yes, I think he was trying to give. Bhaskar the strike, so he didn't even spot the wicket keeper. You didn't see what his non-striker was doing. That's very easy for Chennai. Big blow for Karnataka. Uh, this batsman tried to do. Impossible run to, to attempt there. That's silly because uh, Bhaskar has a substitute runner. And had he attempted that run, it would have meant uh, Bhaskar's wicket. And that would have been a uh, game set and match for the Chennai Rhinos. I think uh, you need to be a bit more smart, but then uh, when you bat at number 10 or 11, I think uh, that's the least you expect from them, smartness. Yes, uh, Akash, that's very really true. I think if, if you have to really pick some faults in the Karnataka's approach, it has to be at the top of the order. Four wickets falling there. But that's hit well and fielded superbly. Nevertheless, he yes, saved four, but he's conceded a signal, which brings Bhaskar back into, onto the strike. That's a dejected lot. He's consoling the captain. That's Mr. Kenny, the co-owner of the Karnataka Bulldozers. Sudip is pensive. He knows it's all over. Well, if he's looking for a next role, Sudip, he could play a tragedy king there. Well, Bhaskar is not going to go down without a fight. He's doing everything in his powers. But at times, things are just beyond you. And that's what they're feeling right now. They didn't get the basics right. They gave away far too many runs. And uh, when it came to batting, I think they just, just could not structure or, or stitch enough partnerships together to keep them alive. You think, Akash, they were a little overconfident? Thinking that they've, since they've beaten them in the league, Chennai, they could perhaps win this final. Remember, they were the un only unbeaten team to have come here. Well, uh, I'm afraid that might just be the case because... Uh, Otherwise, you won't even want to actually field first in a final. You want to bat first, put runs on the board, and then put pressure on the opposition. But uh, they were confident, perhaps slightly overconfident. And uh, th that's, that's where they faltered. Uh, they just could not get their innings going while they were bowling. They were guilty of uh, dropping a few catches, uh, giving away a few more extras than we've seen uh, from them in the past. And uh, they may just pay the ultimate price. Yes, I think Chennai, despite a few drop catches, have fielded well. I think their field placing has been pretty effective. And they flung themselves to save runs. I think they're all poised to run onto the field if the last wicket falls. 147. 43 runs more needed. Just under, uh, just over 12 overs, or 12 balls, which is... Well, that's a, that's a decent shot. It'll be covered by the fielder. Won the result. 148 for 9 after 18. She's obviously delighted, Sri Devi, at what she's seen. Maybe there's a joke told to her by Boni Kapoor. Yes, smiles all around. 42 runs to make. 12 deliveries remaining. Very, very target unless there are plenty of boundaries or sixes but Bhaskar is not on strike and that's really the crunch for Karnataka bulldozers the best man the best batsman in this innings is now at the non-striker win Rohan 
Gavaskar's back in the commentary box, having gone for a little survey of the surroundings. moments in the match. It's 150 but 9 wickets are down. We're in the 19th over. 40 runs still needed more. He's tried to swing it to leg. Can't manage it. Managed to get it beyond short fine leg. But Bhaskar's back on strike. Now let's see what the equation is. 151 for 9. It's 9 deliveries remaining. 39 runs to make. So even a boundary every delivery is not going to be of any help. He needs to hit 6s now. I don't think that's good enough. He struck it into the covers but can't get it past wide cover. Just maybe Bhaskar is now given up. The Chennai camp celebrating already. Singles are not going to help the cause of uh, the bulldozers. With uh, 38 required now of the remaining seven balls. It's end of the 19th over, 153 for nine. Might have no mustache left now. By the time this match ends, he's been you know, picking away. But you can understand why, because they've done so well in this tournament, barring this final. Did they peak too early? Did they take too much for granted? Why did he feel first? Many questions to be asked of the Karnataka team. But one thing is almost certain: uh, he has uh, the support of the owners and uh, Mr. Sharath Kumar. Absolutely opposite reactions to what Sudeep was uh, All right, guys, coming up next seen is the last to be. And final over. Last six balls of now let's of see what can, what is possible. The six deliveries the remaining. The if they get six, six sixes, they'll be tied. Possible in theory, but it's unlikely that number 11 is going to hit those six sixes. So, the, which means the, he needs to get Bhaskar onto the strike and then. That kind of makes the target virtually impossible. And there you are. He's got the strike back, Pascal. But 36 runs now needed of five deliveries. Mathematically impossible unless there are there is a spate of wides. Well, that's picked over the short fine uh, fine leg area for a well placed boundary Bhaskar not giving it up he is distraught he ran out of partners he has put in a brilliant effort no 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 doubt about that he's been their lone warrior but what this knock has done for him is that that has given him a confidence that despite adversities he can still overcome them and perform but I think he's pretty much now beyond Bhaskar's, you know, he's been served the dolly. That's been dropped. Not that it 
it matters at this stage because mathematically it's impossible. I think the bowlers now are trying to ensure that no wides are bowled so that there is no opportunity for Chennai to, uh, for the Karnataka batsman to score more runs. Look at that delivery. It was almost a slowish ball, as slow as he can bowl. And repeating that delivery, flying off over the short third man area for a boundary. But now these are only of academic interest. Uh, the result now well beyond the bulldozer's reach. And last couple of balls before this tournament comes to a, its logical conclusion. Yes, that's the that slash past uh, point, square third man. I think Karnataka have done well to recover from losing four early wickets, but thereafter, I think it was just, you know, somebody had to play a long innings along with Bhaskar. Sudeep looked at one stage that he might hang around there long enough. But after his, his dismissal, it was pretty much curtains for Karnataka. Last and, final ball of the match. and the Rhinos flag flying high. The bar is going to start for Chennai Rhinos in Hyderabad. There it is. The players are ecstatic. So are the supporters. Chennai Rhinos have done it against all odds. They have beaten the strongest team of the tournament. Karnataka bulldozers seem distraught. But what a fight back by this man Abbas.